This has to be the most fun I've had with a gaming laptop this year. And honestly, I think this is probably the best gaming laptop, especially at its price point. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another video on the channel. This time we're covering the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16. Yes, that's a lot of names for a gaming laptop, but this is probably one of the best gaming laptops you will find this year. And if you're a gamer looking for a laptop, I'm already going to recommend it right off the bat that this is probably the laptop for you to pick up. Now you're wondering why. Now before we do that, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, notification icon so you'll be notified with more videos on the channel. So what makes this laptop special? Like it looks pretty simple, it's gray, you've got the Predator logo there. It also weighs 6.17 pounds, so it's not too heavy and it's also not light at the same time. But this, this laptop comes with a lot of ports and features, but also comes with a lot of great gaming performance. You're gonna see it throughout the video. I'm not gonna even jump into benchmarks because we already know what the Intel 13th gen can do. We've already seen what a 4060 can do, but what can it do within this laptop? Now, Acer has done a good job in packing a lot of features in here, and you can see the keyboard is nice and flush. You've got, of course, uh, specified keys for your AWSD, as well as also the Predator button that allows you to go to the Predator Sense software. Now, this is a very comfortable keyboard. I do like the trackpad as well, but of course, when you're gaming, you're gonna be using a gaming mouse, so it really doesn't matter if you have a really good trackpad here. As I mentioned, in terms of specs, you're looking at an Intel 13th gen processor. This is actually has the 13700HX, which is a desktop class processor. You've also got an RTX 4060, yes, as well as, the, as, well as 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5, and a terabyte of storage. Now, you can expand that storage, and this system is pretty easy to go ahead and open up. You flip it open, take out the screws, you do have two DIMM slots for your M2 uh, drives as well as also for ex expanding your, your RAM. You can go ahead and increase that RAM to 32 gigabytes if you want to. And I also added an extra drive which easily shows up on the system here. In terms of the display, it's pretty solid. It's an LED display, nothing too special, although it does have supports up to 165 hertz in terms of refresh rate, which is really nice and very solid. Now you've got a couple of things to note here. When you start gaming, you want to game at the best performance. And this system allows you to go through different fan modes or two different game, uh, gameplay settings, uh, from quiet to balance, uh, from balance to performance, and then turbo. And you can quickly access that either through the Predator Sense software, which is nice and pretty straightforward, or you can tap this button right here. And that blue button, each time you tap it, it takes you through the cycles. But I want you to listen to the audio of the fan as it increases, as you go from quiet, balance, performance, and turbo. And we'll talk about how it actually affects you gaming-wise. Okay, turbo is just super loud and not warranted. But what kind of performance do you get as you move across with this device? In terms of performance with all the different uh, fan settings, we actually tested it with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And at quiet settings, uh, with the fan at quiet, we got 87 frames per second at the highest settings of the game. Uh, and then when we moved over to balance, we jumped all the way up to 108 frames per second. So that's a huge jump right there. And then at performance, where of course the fan was much louder, we got uh, performance at uh, FPS at 112 frames per second. And then finally moving over to turbo, we got 116. So to me, the best uh, is actually balanced because you get a higher frame rate and also the, the fan isn't super loud at that point. Now, in terms of temperatures, we're getting around 102 to 105 while playing at balance. But when the, temp when the fan was kicked onto turbo, it dropped down to 97 degrees. So there, is, there are benefits for going to turbo because of course it really cools down the system, but it's just super loud. Now, what about game performance while gaming on the system? Now, playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I got a maximum frame rate of 132 frames per second at resolution 2560 by 1600, and it worked out pretty well. I went over to try Red Dead Redemption 2, and I saw some interesting numbers there where playing Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 at 2560 by 1600, uh, max settings, I was able to get 
um, 90 frames per second, which was nice, 88 to 90 frames per second. And then when I dropped it down to 1080p, the resolution, I was able to get much higher frame rates and getting closer to uh, 117 frames per second. So that was really solid. Now, what about Doom Eternal? I love playing this game. I'm stuck on the same stage as you probably guess. Can, can probably guess. Uh, Doom Eternal, max settings, ultra nightmare, and also at uh, 2560 by 1600, we're getting around 100, like 130 to 140 frames per second. So it ran really well. And these games are no slouch. And the performance that you see is something that you would expect timing and timeout with the system. Now this system, not only has some really great gaming performance, but also has a ton of ports as well. On the right side, you've got two USB 3.2, USB A 3.2 ports. And then on the left side, you do have one extra USB A 3.2 port, as well as also a micro SD card slot and a headphone and mic jack combined. And now the rear of this laptop, you do have HDMI 2.1 out, as well as also Thunderbolt 4.0, allowing you to get 40 gigabytes per second uh, output and also connecting to an external monitor. This thing is pretty solid and balanced all the way through. Now, what about audio? Well, let's put it this way. If you're gaming on this, you wanna be wearing a headset because if you're gonna be using the fan at its highest, at turbo, you're not gonna hear your games that much. But here's a quick sample of what the speaker actually brings to the table. Here. They're okay, nothing special, a bit quiet and also not a lot of bass behind it, but we care about performance and this laptop delivers. And here's the big kicker is the price point. It starts off at $999 for the Core i5 variant with a 4050. This here is a Core i7 13700 HX with a 4060 graphics card and you're getting top tier performance from the system and it's priced at $1,349. So honestly, this is a steal and I think it's worth picking up. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about this gaming laptop, let me know. If you want to pick one up, use our link down below. Also comes with this uh, Predator uh, carrying pouch, which is pretty nice. So you can actually use it with you on the go. I really like this. I think this is just a solid buy. There's nothing too crazy. It doesn't look super sexy or anything, but it just gives you the performance that you're looking for as a gamer. So again, use our links. Thank you. And always enjoy your entertainment.